Well, first off, I want to thank Mr. Speaker. I really hope that he was able to call upon the lady from Grant for the first time without getting that burning sensation in his chest like he does on the House floor. But, uh, you know, you've never gaveled me down before, so I'm grateful for that. I am Savannah Maddox, and I am running for governor. Folks, there is so much for the Republican Party to be excited about. Last month, we gained a majority of registered voters for the first time ever, and Kentuckians have put their trust in Republicans to lead, and they expect us to lead from the front. You know, it's interesting running in this field, and the gubernatorial primary is heating up with more than nine months to go. Looking at this stage, it's clear to me that one of these things is not like the other. No, no, I'm not talking about the fact that I'm the only mom up here running for governor who understands what Kentucky's families are going through. Look at these guys. They're like the opposite of the Dosa Keys beer guy. They're the least interesting men in politics. I will say, though, I will say, though, it's great to see Daniel Cameron. No, really. It's great to see Daniel after not seeing him anywhere for the past two years, especially when he was in hideout mode during Andy Bashir's lockdowns. Better late than never, I suppose, even if it did take him nine months to file his very own lawsuit against the governor without glomming on to the efforts of private sector attorneys. And Dr. Ryan Quarles, well, he makes his rounds. But I have to admit, I have always wondered, what exactly does he grow on his farm? And how does he keep his boots so shiny? Seriously, I've never seen a farmer with cleaner boots and, ne and never any mud on his truck. Then again, he did tweet that he gave Bashir the idea of doling out back-to-work bonuses at taxpayer expense, so maybe he grows money trees on his farm. But let's not forget what we're really here to fight for. A chance to dethrone Andy Bashir, the guy who shut down our state, closed schools, and harassed churchgoers on Easter Sunday. I was standing up to the tyrant from day one, long before it was popular or politically expedient to do so. Kentuckians are fed up with the disastrous lack of leadership demonstrated by Joe Biden and Andy Bashir. The question becomes, will Kentucky's next governor be an authentic Republican like Ron DeSantis who will fight for your constitutional rights and freedoms? Or will it be a go-along-to-get-along moderate who is afraid to take decisive action? I am the only gubernatorial candidate who stood with you from day one fighting against the lockdowns and mandates, the only candidate who publicly opposes red flag laws, and the only candidate with courage and experience to make difficult decisions. For such a time as this, we need a governor who will stand up and fight back like Senator Rand Paul has done for us in Washington. watching at home to be the first to hear some very exciting news. I am honored to announce that I've been endorsed by Congressman Thomas Massey. <laughs> Congressman Massey is a rock-solid defender of the Constitution, and Kentucky is the most...